Hi guys, Random here, back with a bit more World of Warships. Today, we're looking at this big old beastie. Yes, the Tier 8 Alabama. American battleship, yes. USN. Mmm. Chunky. We like chunky. Okay, so, Alabama. This is a premium. It's in the tech tree. Uh, you can buy it from the premium shop as well, but it's down here in the uh, the tech tree, and you'll see there. It's uh, oh, I believe it's twelve thousand two hundred doubloons. I believe. Might want to check that, but uh, yeah, twelve thousand two hundred. Um, we need to put a commander in it. I've literally just got this. Uh, we do have. We do have Kappa. Do you know what? Let's put him to work, shall we? Um, so, I would recommend a pretty standard battleship build on this one. Uh, you could go for direction centre. You do have catapult aircraft on this. Um, you could go for that, maybe. You know, if you're coming across uh, a lot of aircraft carriers, it might be useful to uh, get... You can choose either a, a spotter or a fighter. So you could go for the uh, direction centre there. Um, personally, I'm going to go for preventive maintenance. Because I rarely come across carriers these days. Uh, I'm going to go for adrenaline rush. Because get the guns going a bit quicker. Now you've got a choice here. Um, you could go either survivability expert. You could go basic survivability um, basic firing training pushes up your AA a bit uh, you could if you wanted go for superintendent for the extra heel and extra plane um, you could do that um, I'm going to go BFT just to stretch out the AA a little bit now your concealment on this is 14.1 uh, and your uh, firing the gun is 24.5 so um, mm, yeah it's only really the AA guns that are going to be benefited by AFT um, you could go fire prevention and you could go concealment expert now I'm going to go concealment expert uh, just to get that down to 12.2. Now we're, we're kind of in cruiser territory really. Uh, module wise, let's have a look. Uh, we are running the fighter. Like I say, you can choose spotting aircraft if you prefer. Got repair party 2. We've got uh, damage con 2. Upgrade wise, auxiliary armament mod 1. Protect the AA. Uh, damage con mod 1. We've got artillery plotting room modification now this is interesting I could have gone for AA gun mod 2 uh, to get the AA range out a little bit but I thought actually do you know what I'd rather get the main battery firing range uh, without doing the uh, the upgrade uh, the uh, yeah because without AFT you can't increase the um, main battery range what you can increase is the secondary range with those um, but I thought by doing this we could get both so rather than go secondary or AA I thought yeah we do this um, and that way you can kind of do it with BFT for the AA and AFT and then you've got the advantage there, but yeah, that was my thought process anyway. Um, got steering gear mod 2, cut down the rudder speed uh, over damage com mod 2. Um, yeah, you could justifiably use this if you're getting a lot of HE spam, but I just prefer my boats to turn a bit quicker. And then of course, concealment mod 1 uh, and over target acquisition so yeah out of the two I think this is what you want really um, so that's kind of where I've gone with the build so let's see what numbers it gives us survivability 63,300 
not great for a tier 8 ship if we're honest um, you know if we look at the hood for example that's got more hit points at tier lower so okay armor wise what's she like um, yeah she doesn't look too bad she doesn't look too bad I think you're gonna be wanting to tank though with this so yeah don't don't get caught broadside always a rule of thumb um, but the damage protection for torpedo belt is 50 percent which is lovely I like that a lot artillery wise we have three triple mounted 406 turrets so big guns that go boom which is nice uh, they give you 13,100 maximum AP damage and 5,700 max HE, 36% fire chance, which is okay. Um, reload time, standard 30 seconds, 180 turn time, not great, but it isn't terrible. It's 40 seconds, so it's, it's a battleship. That's kind of where you're going to see that figure. Um, interestingly, though, the velocity on the shells, AP and HE. So the AP shells is 701 meters per second and the HE shell is 803. So if you're swapping between HE and AP, you're gonna need to make a little bit of an adjustment there. Hmm, okay, that could be interesting. Secondary armament, we have 10 twin 127 mounts, uh, which are lovely they fire out 5.3 with the BFT on there 5% um, fire chance 1800 max HE damage so yeah not terrible and of course with the mod we've got 24.5 kilometer max range on the guns which is a nice long reach AA defense we have 52 single 20 mil Erlikens which are 2 kilometer reach 225 DPS we have the 40 millimeter Bofors, 12 by quad mounts, uh, three and a half kilometers, 229 DPS, and we have the uh, secondaries there, which are the 10 twin 127s with five kilometer range and 181 DPS. So we've got a nice AA rating there. Um, Maneuverability wise, she's not, she's not quick, she's not slow, she's 27 and a half knots. 710 meter turning circle radius which is surprisingly agile for a, a big old ship like this and a 12.3 second rudder shift concealment wise detectability by sea 12.2 kilometers uh, by air 9.4 proximity spot as always is 2 and 15.6 if you fire your guns from smoke don't forget if you fire your guns in the open then your detectability just over doubles so yeah a lot more people will be able to see you which will be um, inconvenient shall we say so that's where we are as always we're going to hit the battle button we're going to go into a co-op and we will judge you Alabama we will be judging you and we'll see how you get on right so, into a match we go. What have we got? We have got tier 7 and 8. Okay, that's not too bad. Uh, got deep water torps. Chapiev, two Northern Howes, two Bismarcks and the Turpits. It's German Day. Right, okay. Let's see how we get on. So, let's line up the AP because that's what we want. We will see big ships before we see little ships. And of course the old Gajimada, deep water torps. Mm. So yeah, it'd be quite good to uh, use the old plane I think for 90 seconds we get on this. Yeah. Okay. So we are heading off now. Do we want to come out of here and go left or right? So I think we should go right actually. So I'm going to swing the guns round over at the port side. 
Looks like the Gejimada thought we should go right as well. We've got a turpit and noise and hell over this side, so that's not too bad. Looks like the uh, Chapiev uh, is heading off uh, to the west. So, hmm, Alabama. Let's see how you play. Now, I, you know, it's an American battleship, so I'm not thinking the guns are going to be terrible. I think they should be uh, pretty good. Yeah, this is quite uh, quite good on the rudder for a battleship. Normally, you kind of press your <laughs> A or D key and then wait a bit, and eventually something happens. Uh, with this, I will press the A key now. Yeah, it's remarkably good. So you can see. The, uh, the little arrow there shifting quite nicely so we'll head over here don't want to turn too much because uh, she isn't all that quick so we do need to uh, it's an interesting arrangement for the uh, the rear turret there to get it round yeah, it's not bad and get uh, all three guns on target kind of round here Okay, we're detected. That means that the uh, Gajimada is on her way. There's the Chapiev. Not too worried about little tiny Gajimada guns, if we're honest. Now we got a bounce on that, so. Not great. We'll be behind the island now, so that should uh, ease up a bit. I am a bit worried about the uh, the battleship guns, though. So I'm going to slow down here because I really do not want to be uh, food for that Gajimada. So I'm going to line up HE for the next next lot. Let's see how we go. Uh, it's not bad. Yeah, we set it down a Bismarck. That's pretty good. So that Gajimada there is... I don't know if he's scared about coming out, but uh, I'm going to put my plane up. And I'm going to use my hill. Because uh, that Gajimada could be launching torps. And if we can get our plane over the top of him... Looks like we've got the noise now. Dropping some fish. He's still in secondary range there, I think, so we should be able to get a nice hit on him there. There we go. So I'm going to line up for the uh, AP on the next reload. Because I should hopefully be able to get a decent salvo into uh, that chap I have. Or if he's behind the island. Well, no, he should pop out, shouldn't he? So we should be okay. Uh, Chapiev. I, uh, I don't know. They do have torps, but... Uh, not sure how longer reach they have but it's not going to be uh, over six kilometers so so we need to push up we need to uh, blast this Chapiev preferably and he's gone behind the island there he is we should be able to reach over the top there and yeah we've got a decent into him, that's okay. Looks like he's reversing. Still waiting for that back turret to come round. That's the problem with battleships traversing the guns. We should be reloaded now. There we go. And we'll put it right amidships. 
Yep, yeah, lovely. We got a lovely ding into him. And we're switching back this way now because we don't want to see torpedoes. He could well have launched them. We're approaching, so yeah. I don't know if we might get a shell over the top there, but maybe not. Okay, that Bismarck is uh, just there, and we need to make it not there, don't we? So let's get rid of him. There we go, he's not going to shoot us anymore. We will push into D, and we should be able to get our guns on that Alabama. We got uh, a bounce there. Okay, the old chappy heavy is still there as well, so don't forget him. What oh, is that noise now? Oh, it's the noise now. Okay, so guns will be reloaded just a moment. Don't forget about the torpedoes, random. They have torpedoes. So let's let's put our things into his nose. There we go, 14k damage. Lovely. Do have to watch out for his guns though, and here come the torpedoes. So don't slow down, just keep going. And it looks like he's grounded himself. Beached! And we'll take another 20k off him, which is glorious. There's the Bama. Get the tail of the boat round, because I want to sail at an angle to him, because his guns will hurt. They will hurt just as much as mine do. I think we're okay for the islands. I'm going to go for the nose. What kind of penetration do we get? None at all. Okay. Yep, we're okay for this island. We got a nice bounce on him there. We're gonna reload. Yeah, interesting. Taking the turret out. We've got the knife now there. Ooh, come on. We need to sail away from him. I'm just gonna um bring the guns around. I just See if I can take out one of his turrets. Oh, that hurt. Okay. Didn't want those little fish from the Northern Owl coming my way, so. Mm. Okay, so we've established that. Uh, we're not going to get through the front of it, but uh, I'm going to take this gun out, that's okay. So I'm going to start turning now, I'm going to get my uh, turrets over the other side of the ship. A little bit of help here would be nice team, I'm not sure where you all are, but uh, more the merrier. And being as we can't actually damage this guy, I'm going to put HE in. We'll see if we can cook him down a bit. We're going to have to turn in a minute because I'm about to run out of map. So, mm. let's see if we can uh, get a fire going on this night now. Yes, we can. Marvellous. Time to heal again. If I get a better profile, I will put a, uh, the AP back in. These, these guys are picking on me. Summit Chronic, please don't. Please stop. Stop, please. Right, fire on that knife now will be glorious, two of them, because he can't repair that. Uh, 
let's get some more fires going on these ships. I am sailing away. I'm going to be a border humper in a moment. And I really don't like doing that. Okay, you. Can we get rid of you? Oh, come on. Too much angle. We haven't got any hills left. We're fighting this all on our own. And we have 470 hit points left. Can't on, take his guns out. Yes! And get rid of one of them. Come on. Get rid of one of them at least. Ah, oh dear. Oh well. I'm not disappointed with that. We were, uh, we had a pretty good fight there. 143,469 damage. That's, um, that's good. That is good, but uh, yeah, it was just too much. A bit of two-on-one action there was just too much. I couldn't hold it. Yep. Um, <laughs> it is just those two ships left, though. So, hopefully... Uh, I mean, our noise now didn't do very much to help at all, but... You know, he, he could have chased them down uh, while they were looking at me. But... Uh, yeah, it looks like the Bismarck's coming in from this side. I could see him coming across, but uh, he wasn't doing very much because he was so far away. And he has come from the other side of the map, so there's that. Uh, we've got uh, this noise and I don't know why the noise and howls just seem. I mean, this guy. What what are you doing? You're going for a beach holiday. Okay. And the old chappy is just uh, yeah, doing what chappies do. Hide behind islands or drive into them. No, don't hit the tiny boat. Don't hit the tiny boat. Oh no. So, yeah, well, property prices are about to go down on this beachfront. Um. We've got uh, the old Bismarck here. He should be able to finish that noise now. I'd be amazed if he doesn't. As long as he's aiming in the right place. And that was either bounces or misses. They look like misses. Oh dear. It should be alright though, against the knives now. Got plenty of armour. So, uh, Bismarck, no torps. Knives and hell has torps, so I would be worried about that about now. And then we've got the Bama. Big gun Bama. Yep, that will shave off your health. But uh, he should get the reload on him while he's. Yep, there we go. And that should get some lovely big numbers in damage. Yeah, not bad. Plain kill just for good measure. Hopefully, the next salvo, there we go. Right, look at the numbers, 143,469 damage, 60 target hits with the main gun, two planes shot down, six incapacitations, two ships sunk, seven fires, two citadels, three defend ribbons, 56 secondary hits, which is kind of cool. Um, got uh, in one battle will be the first to spot one German ship. Okay, hunt for Bismarck, we did it. Um, let's have a look at the oh, numbers up here as well. 
247,100 credits, 2,363 XP, 476 free XP. Top of the tree. Top of the tree. Look at that. Uh, detail report. All right. Uh, where is the number? Potential damage. Here we are. One on the, one million five hundred and sixty-five thousand eight hundred. Hmm. That's not too bad. That isn't too bad. Um. Got the Gajimada, Got the Bismarck. Got lovely amounts of damage on these two, which were uh, the two chasing me down at the end. Got a nice hit on the Chapier. Decent hit on that Bismarck as well. And take home. Let's have a look. Uh, 192,762 on the credits and 2,836 Commander XP. Sweet. Okay, back to port. So that is... That is the Alabama. Um, I like it. I think it's actually quite a good ship. Yeah, not one you want to get uh, focus fired in, but I do like it. You've got the uh, the ability to deal quite a lot of damage there. It's just not particularly good at taking it. Um, against a nice and how with the smaller guns, you're fine. But you get some of the big boys coming out to play, then yeah, you're gonna you're gonna feel the pain. Um, but it's quite a fun little boat. Little boat. It's a battleship. Random. What are you talking about? Uh, yeah, I like it. I do like it. So, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget, as always, if you enjoyed the video, the old like button loves a little tickle. Uh, don't forget as well, if you're new to the channel, and you've just come here to see this, the old subscribe button is there as well. Mm. Why not consider giving that a tap and the bell icon next to it, of course, for every channel that you subscribe to on YouTube, because YouTube, mm. they're doing a thing at the moment as always anyway i think that's more than enough from me for now so i do hope you enjoyed guys thanks for watching but for now captain random signing off take care and i'll see you again in the next one